Hi, I finished uh, another book that I picked up in the charity shop and another Mike Gale, he's becoming the author that I go to um, for books that are cosy, that are easy to read and that tug the emotions. Um, this is my fourth Mike Gale now. Um, and he doesn't disappoint. I've not had, out of the four, I've not had one that dis that's disappointed yet. We've got two main characters. We've got Kerry, who's a single mum, to Kian. She's a cleaner. Um, she lives for her son and will do anything for him. And strives to um, give him everything that she, that she can do but also to give him an upbringing that will be a, a, a solid foundation for future life, to, to turn him into a man she can be proud of. Noah is a successful barrister. He lives in a huge house in Primrose Hill with his wife, Rosalind, and daughter, Millie. Two very different people living half a world away from each other yeah. and Noah has got everything that Kerry lacks he's had opportunities in life he's had privilege he's got a successful job he's got a big house Kerry's a single mom um strangers nothing in common but what Kerry knows and Noah doesn't is that they're siblings. Noah is her half-brother and they were separated when they were taken into care and she hasn't seen him since. So when she eventually picks up a pen and writes to Noah, it's a decision that will change both of their lives forever. Throughout the book, you've got letters that the young Kerry has written to her brother, letters that she has sent to the adoption agency, so that if Noah ever approached the agency looking for details of his past, these letters from his sister would be there for him to read. So you've got those letters and you learn about the the young Kerry. You learn about her love for her brother. And you hear a bit about her past. The book is written in alternate points of view. You've got Kerry, Noah, Kerry, Noah all the way through. And you get to know these and the, the character arc is super. Um, you get Noah's feelings um, and the way that he has come through life being adopted by a white family and the privileges that it gave him being a adopted by this middle class family. Uh, but both his adopted parents are academics. Um, he's had a good life, um, Kerry fostered various foster homes before putting in a children's home. So their upbringing is totally different. Um, you see Kerry's strength, how hard working she is and how Kian is there. Everything she does is for him. And we see how her clients regard her as well, how loved she is. Um, and I challenge anyone not to adore her because she is just a wonderful character. She loves everything glittery, glittery and sparkly. And she will sing Mariah Carey's Christmas song no matter what time of year because it makes her feel good. I love this. Um, it will get you reaching for the tissues. It did me. Um, but at the heart of it, it is heartwarming and it is full of love. 
and yeah my gail you have done it again so um i've got some more on my bookshelf that i need to read at some point and i will get around to him uh around to his other books of course um, how many have you written <gasps> he's written loads i've got loads to read so i'm not going to be bored for a long while so half a world away by mike gail happy reading take care